Question 13. So we're being asked to find the interquartile range of these marks. So first thing we need to do is just put them in numerical order. So that's what I've done here in blue. Now the interquartile range is our three quarters of the way up value take away our quarter of the way up value. So I think the best way to work out where they come is to start off by finding the middle value which is the 17 and then just looking at the numbers before that and finding the middle of those five values and the five values after that and the middle one there. So can you see that 13 is halfway between those numbers here and that 19 is halfway between those numbers here. So interquartile range, three quarter of the way up value, 19, take away quarter of the way up value, 13, gives us 6. Now, um, we're told that Sunil did the same 11 mass tests. His median mark it was 17. Uh, his interquartile range is 8. So which who has the more consistent marks? Okay. Now where you have consistent marks, your your ranges are going to be smaller. There is less variation between your good days and your bad days. So given that um, uh, we've worked out that James has an interquartile range of six, that is a smaller interquartile range to Sunil's eight. So who has the more consistent marks? Well, that's James, as he has the lower interquartile range. Now, we're told that Sunil did four more tests, these results, uh, and we, we were being asked to c compare how does this, his new middle mark, his new median mark, compare with his median mark of 17 for the 11 tests. So, think about it. Of the tests he's done already, uh, he's got a middle mark of 17, which we, um, he's got a middle mark of 17. Now, if we go and add on four more values, can you see that two of these are less than his present middle mark? Yet two of them, the 20 and the 18, are greater than his present middle mark. So two are going to come before and two are going to come after. So that 17 is still going to be in the middle. Okay, so okay, so just picture. I mean, this isn't the correct data. This is James's, but you, I think you can see the point. If seven, if we were to go and add a couple of numbers back here, and a couple of numbers over here, that 17 would still be in the middle, and that's what we're saying about um, about Sunil's data. So, uh, what's his new median? It's 17. Explain your answer. Well, the median is unchanged, as with two of the new numbers are above the original median while two are below.